Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to integrate Google AdMobs in Unity. Let's start. First of all, we go to this website and click to download the plugin button. You can find this link in the description. Then, on the page that opens, we download the Unity package file and import it into our project. After that, if the Enable Android Auto Resolution pop-up appears, we click on the Enable button. This part may take a while to load, so you have to wait until it's finished. When we open the Assets tab, we can see that the Google Mobile Ads section is there. Then we return to the website again. First, let's create a banner ad. For this, let's open the Get Started section on the Banner tab and copy the codes here. Then let's go back to Unity and create an empty game object and create a new script called Banner. Let's paste the code we copied and make sure that our class name is Banner or it will give an error. Then let's go back to the website and scroll down a bit and copy the remaining two lines of code and open our class again and paste it at the bottom. And that's it, let's test it. As you can see, our banner appeared at the top. This is a test banner by the way. Now let's move on to the interstitial ad type. For this, create a new game object and then create a new script called interstitial. Then let's go back to the website and select the interstitial tab. After, scroll down a bit and copy the codes here piece by piece and paste them into our script. Then we need to write a few lines of code to our start method. We initialize the mobile ads and then call the request interstitial method. And finally, we set our control by showing the ad if the ad is loaded. You can use the ad display part wherever you want, for example, when the game is over. And now let's test it. As you can see, the ad has been active. Now there are rewarded ads. This works very similarly to interstitial ads. Let's create a new game object and then create a script called rewarded. Then let's open our website and open the rewarded tab. Here scroll down a bit and copy the codes. Then let's open our script and paste the codes. And add Google Mobile Ads and System Library at the top. Then let's change the name of our method from Star to, to Request Rewarded Video. And then create a Start method. Then initialize mobile ads and then call our request rewarded video method. And finally, if our ad is loaded, let's show it. We can delete the error parts at the bottom. The methods here work according to the status of the ad. For example, if the ad was watched successfully, you can reward the user in the handle user earn reward method. And now let's test it. As you can see, our ad has been active. Finally, I'll show you how to get the ad code. For this, we go to the Google AdMob website and log in. Then we press the Get Started button on the screen that opens. First, we choose our platform and in the option below, if our project is live on Apple or Google Play Store, we choose accordingly. Then we give an application name and click the Add App button. And our project is now created. 
and now we need to add unit we press the add add unit button and as you can see on the screen that opens there are various types of advertisements let's do the banner example here give it a name on the screen that opens and click create add unit as you can see our codes have been created let's copy the above code and return to unity and open google ads from the assets tab and paste the code in the android part then let's copy the code below and open our banner script let's assign this code to our variable which is add unit id and that's it you can also get add code for other ad types we're done if you like this video please subscribe also leave a comment see you in the next video